and welcome back to the channel guys welcome 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 it is a firestorm in st vincent and the grenadines this morning why is this so because this man on the screen with me vibes cartel since he's touched down in st vincent it's just controversy after controversy and based on which side of the divide that you're on and i mean political divide that will fuel your comments and what they would be there's an outcry via social media and on radio in St. Vincent as Vibes Cartel has emerged as the face of the island's tourism product. And dare me to say the unofficial face because the government has not made an announcement that he is a tourism ambassador, right? Now, it all came about because of a video Vibes Cartel did promoting St. Vincent and Grenadines and encouraging visitors to come to the island. Now, the video was shared on Discover SVG Facebook page. That Facebook page belongs to what? St. Vincent and the Grenadines Tourism Authority, the government. So that's the problem right there. The video has been shared 917 times. It garnered about 1.5K likes and racked up about 150,000 views since August 24th. There is a firestorm in St. Vincent. People are not liking it because they're thinking that cartel should not be the face of the tourism product. Like I said, I'm not sure the government said that he is. This is people's opinion. Vincentian lawyer Jumo Thomas also says that Cartel as the face of the tourism product is bad for businesses in SVG. And I'll play a video very soon as to why he thinks that Cartel face advertising SVG or advocating for visitors come to SVG is bad for business. I'll play a video with him soon explaining why he thinks it's bad for business. But first, I want to go to some of the comments that we saw on social media after I play the video of Cartel promoting St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Watch this video. Hey, planning a vacation? Want to spend time in a nice Caribbean getaway? This is Vibes Cartel and take my advice. Come to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You know what I mean? No? Oh. So you note the logo there, it, it says Discover SVG. So that is the official logo of the tourism authority here. So do you see where the controversy comes in and why people are saying that he is the face of St. Vincent and the Grenadines tourism product and should not be, right? Now, some of the comments on social media is terrible. When I tell you terrible, let's go to them and see what they're saying. This one says, Rao should not be encouraging these elements in SVG. Marlon also has been projecting a fake bad boy persona. What happened if bad vibes take root in the Southern Caribbean in search for an expansion of their Jamaican operation? So that's one comment. So they're saying that Ralph should not be encouraging these elements in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Let's go to the other one. Very disappointed that no one encouraged him to visit the islands and saw the disaster of the poor people who suffered from the hurricanes just as Collis Smith TV did, right? So you're thinking that he should have been taken to see the people who were affected by the hurricane and maybe he could have done some good promotion to get even further help for them. Let's continue to the other one. It says, a convicted felon advertising for St. Vincent. Is this where we are now? Very disappointed. All right. Let's go to the other one. It says, the bleach man from jail is advertising. Good luck with that. This is all a political stunt. Like I said to you, cartel emerge in a red t-shirt. Of course, that red t-shirt, that color red is the color of the political party, usually the party which is in government. Let's take another one. It says, this is who you have promoting aspects of brands of SVG. Really? Well, we reach where we're going now, where it can now promote our country products, right? So let's go to the other one. It says, blood clot, the world boss is now the face of St. Vincent after 35 days out. So you now have an idea as to sentiments expressed in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And like I said, it's based on whichever divide you find yourself, you may get positive or negative comments, right? But the lawyer, Jomo Thomas, to this morning was really, really handing it to the government. I'm going to play a video right now of him talking about why cartel should not be the face of St. Vincent and the Grenadines tourism product. Let's listen to this video. But by the logic... By the very logic which our people speak, at least those who immorally, unethically support and celebrate what is happening with cartel in St. Vincent. Well, by that logic, let's bring 
Christopher Michael Duroskok. He was also. We can get him from a jail cell someplace in the United States. He was popular. We can get El Chapo. The Mafia Dan. Who is wildly popular. He had so much money. He wanted to um, pay off the national debt. Of Colombia. And better yet. Who better than. The sweet voice Krona, R. Kelly. Let us bring him. He has millions of fans. And even though he has been convicted and sentenced for certain improper acts, criminal acts, he's popular too. Because if the sole criterion, criterion is popularity and what that person can bring, then there's no hold bars as to who we can bring. No hold bars on who we could bring. And this is why I say, and I quoted it because the prime minister likes to talk about it. Some of us know the price of everything and the value of nothing. What the hell is the value of making Vibes Cartel the face of St. Vincent and the Grenadines? What? There's no value. There's zero value. Because it's, it's going to come to naught. It's going to come to naught. Nobody is going to jump and say or to the extent that we assume that some people would come it is not going to be sufficient for the alignment which we place on having vice cartel as the face of saint vincent and the grenadines so that's a lawyer expressing why he doesn't think that cartel should be the face of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, or even the face of the St. Vincent's tourism product. So that's the discussion this morning in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It is a hot one, and I believe it will continue throughout the day, right? It will continue throughout the day. And you heard him talking about the act of mercy. And the Prime Minister mentioned last week that Cartel's visit here is an act of mercy. It was widely distributed in the regional media. The lawyer thinks that that is hogwash and makes no sense because Gonzalo did not have mercy, he said on the scores of public servants who were fired for not taking the COVID vaccine. So he teared into the government again on that issue and also even further on Vibes Cartel. Listen to this. Of public servants who were unceremoniously dismissed, telling them no job, no job. Where is the mercy to the other hundreds in the public service who were fired? because private sector people took the lead from this government. And whereas they were forcing people to take a vaccine, they exempted themselves. They said parliament, parliamentarians don't have to take it. Just to show how this game was such a wicked um, thing. They didn't have to take it. But they got all of the parliament staff to take it. But they, didn't, they were exempted. Where was the mercy? So we know that the, 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 the view about mercy is a game. And being, you know, one great man once said that sometimes we see manifestations and they come first as tragedy and then as fast. What we are seeing in St. Vincent is a tragedy. It's a tragedy of arrogance. And I tried to make that point in my column last Friday. It's a tragedy that good thinking, ordinary people, people who would normally put their lives on the line for St. Vincent, 
would line up with this kind of nonsense simply because a regime which they support is hoisting this on the nation. It's not good policy. It's not good policy. It should be rejected. Five cartel should not be the face of our tourism product. Well, there you have it. The lawyer really hammered the government here this morning. Let's continue the discussion and hear what you have to say. Wherever you are in the world, it doesn't matter. I need to know what you're saying about this whole issue of Vibes Cartel promoting St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I believe that anybody would be happy for their country to promote it, but it appears in this segment that people are not happy with cartel promoting St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And like I said, it's based on whichever divide you come from, you'll get different opinions. So let's hear from you in the comment section subscribe share the video because this man is causing a firestorm in st vincent and the grenadines and if you did not see the video where he promoted the country let's go back to the video before we leave here hey planning a vacation want to spend time in a nice caribbean getaway this is vibes cartel and take my advice come to st vincent and the grenadines you know what I mean? No? Oh. So there you have it. Should cartel be promoting St. Vincent and the Grenadines? That is the question this morning. Leave your comments. want to hear from you. Subscribe, share the video, and keep coming back for even more great content.